And welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the spot healing brush. The spot healing brush samples tones and textures around the damaged area to then calculate and lay down the blended repair. Okay, this is again according to Katrine because she knows best. Um, so let's go ahead and select the touch up blemishes. Right click here. Now, when I want to move, remove blemishes from the face, of course, I create a new layer. So I'm going to Alt click and call it um, either you can do I call it touch-ups or blemishes or whatever you like okay I usually make sure that I zoom into the area nice and tight so I can see what's going on and then I go over here to the um, spot healing brush also shortcut J I usually work with a hard edge brush and I usually keep it on content aware which is the newest thing for um, for Photoshop elements and of course sample all layers Okay, so that way we don't touch the background and we can see the difference because you'll see in a minute what I mean by that. And then you just go over to, let's say, an area, this, this pretty woman here. You just go over to an area and you just click once. Make sure that it's bigger than the, than the area you're trying to fix, like the pimple on her face. And it will instantly remove it. Just that easy. You can, it's better to dab, as they say, than to drag. But you can drag if you want. And sometimes it works great. So here we have this crease. If our brush was small, watch what would happen. And we try to fix it, it doesn't look right. So we need to go a little bit bigger. Okay. And I always work from the outside in, so that way I have good material to work with. Okay, and then you can sample around the face to blend it in a little bit better. Okay see here maybe a little spot right there you have to be careful when you get close to edges because watch what happens you can see it just changed the edge of the glasses it's kind of funny so maybe you need to zoom in a little bit tighter okay press J and then let me decrease the size of the brush okay there we go okay now you're probably looking at the, uh, the photo and you're saying well we didn't really do anything so that's the good thing about it being on a separate layer because watch what happens you see look at that before after, before, after. See, that's why it's good to have it on an, uh, another layer because obviously because you don't destroy the, the background or the original, but also so you can see with your eyes what you're doing and to look at areas that still need further touch-ups because your eyes can get used to what you're doing. It can be very tricky.